Tell me the horrible stuff your DM pulls without a proper setup, TG. Meet the king of a country. He's always dressed in armour with a helmet that covers his entire face, with exception of the eyes. Has manly voice. Has a fascination for all things manly going to the point of going apeshit during a fist fight between a PC and an important NPC. Turns out he was actually a woman the whole time. But what about his voice? Wizards. <laughs> what? Yeah, but apart from the wearing armor at all times thing, the DM gave no hints whatsoever. Respect woman. <laughs> Respect the woman. Respect the woman. DM relentlessly makes out of character comments about how we're horrible racist people for being suspicious of dry or tieflings or you want or whatever. Oh, sweet, you have to be suspicious of these sorts of things. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm sorry to say, but they're the de facto bad guys. <laughs> like, you know, they're just up to no good. DM then turns around and has said characters try to kill us, steal from us, or enslave us whenever we let our guard down around them. Every fucking time. That's not shocking though, no. is it? You know what I mean? Like, come on here. Like, I'm sorry to say, but like, to guard up to no good, like, tieflings, tieflings are genuine demon people, <laughs> and Yanti are actual snake people. Like, come on here. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, you know, come on. My old GM was that guy, so it's kind of cheating. Somebody ascended to godhood because another PC prayed to him, and LOL, not 20. Not 20, gotta be the goals of physics. <laughs> hey. Killed my character off when I missed a session because somebody else insulted a god and nuked an entire country over it. The GM's pet would constantly get into trouble and bail out, while others would constantly get caught in save or die death traps. Once got caught in said death trap, even though I was nowhere near it, and waited around for over three hours until the game was finished, kept getting told that he was getting around to introducing my new character. My PC got raped for the lols. Meal. Oh god, why? <laughs> <For the> <laughs> for the, just for the lulls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Allowed somebody to completely ruin a three month running game by using a wish spell from a deck of many things to kill people because he didn't want to give up his sword for 12 seconds. Oh Jesus. Uh -huh. Now don't get me wrong, I do enjoy the deck of many things, however you need to know, you just shouldn't put it into a game. Like, don't put it into a game if people are seriously running it. Yeah, if it's if it's a serious game, don't bother. don't don't put like, it in. It, it's just guaranteed to ruin your. It's good. It's the 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 yeah, campaign. the deck of many things is good for like one shot campaigns yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and it's just like a big mess about, and that is actually a really fun yeah. magic item. Yeah, it's just if you're trying to have like a serious game, just don't bother. D stay away like, from just it. Just stay there. And if you are gonna put it in, modify the deck just so there's only like set cards. Yeah, and it doesn't I mean? completely fuck it up. But even then, it's gonna mess it up. Yeah. You can't, you can't unmess it. <laughs> yeah. You know? Our party wizard was revived at a local church after dying in a dungeon. Because he knew a single necromancy spell, this turned him into a lich. Cringe. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> DM's girlfriend has the bullshit puppeteer power with no clear limits. Now, whenever you read a story and it has like the DM's girlfriend, it no, has to be on the bingo list as well. It, it's <laughs> has really, to be. It's just, it's, you know, it's always never a good sign. No. <laughs> One session the girlfriend is just absent and the DM says her character was brutally raped and murdered off screen. <laughs> what? Warlock carefully climbs out a window and falls directly into a paladin he had no chance to see or roll perception to see. When the warlock tries to dimension door into the nearby forest, the DM argues that the paladin came with him since the caster has an option of taking a friend. Has an option though? Alright, okay, Okay. Whatever. Warlock wakes up in an anti-magic cell and is unable to do anything when another party member summons an absurdly OP demon as a Heal Mary and said demon one-shots the warlock. <laughs> that doesn't really add up if I be honest with you. He also once had a campaign where we had a deck of many things and each party member was magically compelled to draw from it once every day. That is not going to end well. No. If we want us to go once well, a day. It depen it depen well, it depends on, um, on on the people playing the game. I d yeah, but it also depends on what's in the cards, you know. Yeah, but I mean? it does like, sound you know? fun, though. It does, but like, yeah, it, it, if you want to have a serious game, that's it's just not possible. DM tells us to prepare for a social campaign. Get sent to rescue a princess from a city during a siege. Cross the street attacked by a band of goblins. Managed to convince the goblins we're on their side. Cross the street. Behind us are two hordes of goblins. Roll perception, 
stealth through an alleyway between two explosive factories. Figure that the risk of a sudden explosive death was worth avoiding two armies. Reach the other side. Horde of goblins to your right. Try to cross the river. Ahead is a horde of goblins. Travel east. Horde of goblins. Travel west. Horde of goblins. Backtrack. Horde of goblins. Manage to convince the goblins were not enemies again. Despite succeeding, they attack anyways. Escape into the factory. Inside is a horde of goblins. <laughs> Fuck me. Is this Minas Tirith? <laughs> or not Minas Tirith? That's all I'm thinking about. And all I can think about is, you know, Osgiliath in uh, Return of the King. Yeah. Manage to fight her way through and escape. Barbarian player is nearly dead and barred is out of spells. Manage to cross the street. Horde of goblins. Make it to a marketplace where there is a horde of goblins. <laughs> Fuck me. Goblins are falling from the sky. Airdropped without parachute. Most die. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's raining goblins. Hey. <laughs> For God's sake. Goblins begin clearing. Skeletal Chimera arrives. Everyone runs and hides. Skeletal Chimera beelines for our party. Nearly kills everyone. Can't outrun it. Can't damage it. Can't hide from it. Find out afterwards it was the God of Death. God of Death flushes us out of a shelter into the open. Just in time for a stalker blowout. Everyone dies. At least we died to shadow horrors though. I didn't have any more goblins to deal with in the afterlife. I have i don't even know what happened I, in that one, to be honest with you. That one kind of... Didn't just fuck everything oh, up. Uh, by the way, God of Death just showed up. Um, that's the thing. <laughs> um, you guys like goblins? We're going to make a green goblin. That's a roll to get fucked. <laughs> yeah. Right, fine. Let's give this boy his 15 minutes. He yeah, comments on every, every thread in TG. I, keep, I come across. Neckbeardia, you card. Put me in the video. I want to throat fuck Megan. Her voice and accent makes me harder than Dwarven Steel. There you go, boy. <laughs> there we go. You're in the screen. <laughs> there cup. you go. You got it. You got, you got it. And then they you net the it. other one. The first one, James and Megan see this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. I saw that one. That was good. That one gave me a good laugh, so it did. But no, uh, this fella, he comments on, he's been doing it for about a month solid now. Like, now he's going to post okay. something else. I know, he, he's going to change it now. But look, we give it to you, all right? You'd be happy with that, all right? Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is Coinbase. Have you been thinking about getting into cryptocurrency recently with everything that's going on? Well, maybe now would be a good time to get into cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum or Litecoin. Well, why not consider using Coinbase? It's a great all-in-one platform to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. And one of the features that I think is pretty based is being able to set up a recurring purchase, be it every day, every week or a month. It makes it much easier to slowly invest into crypto. And also, being able to set up alerts when a cryptocurrency goes over a set amount makes it far easier to cash out big time. We've all seen the videos of, you know, the yeah. uh, sell, 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 sell. <laughs> yeah, you know. getting the alerts really help. And best of all, you will receive 10 US dollars of Bitcoin when you buy or sell 100 US dollars or more on Coinbase. Also, we get a tenner. You get a tenner, and then if you invite any of your friends, you also get another tenner. So, look, win-win. So what are you waiting for? If there's ever been a time to start getting into crypto and making a quick buck, now is the time. So quick, go check out the top link down below and get the invite and get yourself a tenner and get yourself into that cryptocurrencies. Now let's get back to the video. Rolling that one to climb a fence. DM tells me to roll to see if I land on my dick. Then has me roll to see if my dick was hard. <laughs> then roll to see if I broke my dick. <laughs> Every natural one and some regular field rolls leads to rolling to see if you broke your dick. To be fair, we were like 14. Yeah. That was a fun, it's probably the funniest shit ever. <laughs> yeah, it probably was the funniest shit ever at the time. But look, you know, I, is it like the biggest meme ever? If you roll one, you have to embarrass yourself or break something. And if you roll 20, you break the laws of physics. <laughs> this one's more of a LARP story, but GM bullshit comes in many forms. Be me, hotshot wizard. Be part of Mage Camp. One of the GMs is the leader. Tells us to do a magic restoring ritual, because magic has gone fucky-wucky for some reason. Fucky-wucky, Jesus fucky Christ. I need to use that. That's actually pretty good. I like that. <laughs> fucky-wucky. Fucky-wucky off. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me it's all funny. Requires crystals and the camp's most powerful mages. 
also tells us of an optional way that requires a shit ton of novice mages. There were little to no novices at game. We get the crystals. Pretty cash money. <laughs> Fuck me. Me and the boys start the ritual of unfucking. One of the GM's friends interrupted mid-ritual. They steal one of our crystals. God damn it. Get the crystal back through convincing the GM's pet to give it to us. Do the ritual again. Making sure no GM's pet bullshit happens again. Successfully unfuck magic and returns to normal. After a game, GM's pet bitches about us being exclusionary for not allowing his friends in in the ritual. No, no go away. No, fuck off. Go away. Don't want you there. <laughs> Next game, GM punishes us for doing the ritual. We were actually supposed to do the optional path of the ritual. Me, get rid- fuck off. I know. Like, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but see if I get asked for doing something and then like, then someone gurns about me being like, oh, why was I not, I was like, good, I'm happy I didn't <laughs> I'm actually good, I'm actually happy that you're not there. If you're going to whinge about it to me, fuck off. Fuck off. You know what I mean? Jesus. Oh, God. Oh. Get reduced to one HP, not allowing us to use magic for half of the game. LARP breeds the most entitled cunts imaginable, I swear. I could definitely imagine that. Yeah. Um, and if you want to hear more about uh, fucking camp. entitled cunts going, listen to us reading LARP Camp. It it's was a very really good. good story time. I really enjoyed it. Definitely worth I, I need to re upload it all as one. But actually, we've still got more, so I might actually leave it. No, it's not that we'll have more. There's just like a part two There's of it. Part two that we um, which done we yet. will get into doing. But uh, you can go read the first. Um, parts of it and um, get you get your get yourself up to date because yeah. it's such a good story. It is, it's one of my favorite stories that we've done, but definitely worth checking out. But I'll put links to it down. Be in fifth edition game. DM's been running this game for about four years now. Owner of a fairly large corporation and mayor of the town we're based out of. All right, Chris Chan, okay. <laughs> <laughs> mayor of Corkville, coming in here. Shit's going good. DM pulls me aside before a session and asks if I'm okay being kidnapped. No. <laughs> no. I don't know about anyone. I don't know about you, but okay. uh, no. Kidnapped? Yeah, sure. Sign me up. <laughs> I want to be kidnapped by Somalian pirates. <laughs> Fuck, that sounds like a creepy holiday home. I say okay as I'm the de facto leader, thinking my party can save me and it will give them a chance to grow. Smash cut to me randomly being snatched by this halfling that the party can't even find anything about. Party going in opposite direction of the blatant trail. Have to save my own ass. The guy who kidnapped me didn't take my shit, made sure I couldn't cast magic. I have to use components for once. Cool. DM goes on about all the insane magic gear this guy who kidnapped me has. Party destroyed large neighbouring town though, the booster pack of many things. It's a literal fucking booster pack of magic cards. DM smash cuts to me, getting told about how cool and awesome this DM PC is and how he specialises in capturing wizards. Figure out a plan to escape. Gather small amount of materials to cast Dimension Door. Poof away as the DM PC is bringing me to the big bad evil guy. DM interrupts in laughter because he was going to help you. <laughs> no. no nothing about this character seemed helpful or useful as he tried to kill me in multiple attempts. What, 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 do, you, what do you expect? What do you expect this boy to do? Like, I, I, that, that, that's just next You level. literally pushed him into a corner. He, like, he's oh, going to oh, do something. You know what this is? This is whenever people say, oh, yeah, no, I, I'm just playing fucking 3D chess here. Or no, sorry, 4D chess. <laughs> 4D or whatever chess. they call it. Like, <laughs> You know, Jesus Christ. Like, don't expect people to know this type of stuff. That's almost really annoying. Like, the people then pull out and be like, Wait, what are you on about? How did you not realise? Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Don't even give me that. Worst bullshit my DM ever pulled. Retconning an entire session. It was a Wild West RPG and our characters, a group of Confederate expats, had just arrived in a small boom town via carriage when we were approached by a clearly injured railway worker begging us to hide him from his boss. We help him hide. He escorts us back to his camp and we learn he and his fellow workers are planning an uprising against the overseers who are essentially running a secret slavery ring using immigrants. So gypsies. (laughs) Yeah, they're just gypsies. Cue the standard three hours of questing and we get to the standoff. Us and a group of dirty labourers versus an army of Pinkerton PMC types. The head boss comes and does the typical bad guy speech. 
hand over the ring later and you will go free and I'll pay you. Thing is, we all said yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, sometimes, like, it's a wild west. You know, I don't, I don't think, like, there's many, there's not, like, I know a lot of people, like, claim, oh, yeah, cowboys being great guys and all that. But, like, come on here. That's, that's, a, good, that's a really good deal. I will even pay you. Sweet, Sweet. ass. We'll get you some sleeves and no sweat. Our GM, who had been banking on our characters not being selfish, intended for the railway people to be our main source of plot hooks and adventures. And suddenly, we were the problem for <laughs> <laughs> we were the problem for taking an option he offered us. Well, why, why does he not just? Why did he the, offer it? Why, why does he not make the ring leaders the new plot hooks? Yeah. Like you know, just change the change the characters over. You know, unless and, it's and, all centered around them. Though. Uh, I suppose. But yeah. always have always like, have backups. Like, don't don't expect like don't expect players to keep. Uh, don't, don't give them the option, uh, yeah. especially that early on. Players like, are shitheads. Exactly. They're, they're, gonna, they're offered money. It's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. So yeah. <laughs> That's right. He cut the session then and there, and the next week had us start back at the writing into town, with the scenario slightly different because he was pissed that we made the wrong <laughs> choice. Whole session was wasted because the GM offered us a choice and we took it. And he couldn't fucking improvise. Yeah, that's yeah. Really what it comes down to is uh, inability to improvise. Yeah, like you know, don't give them the option if you're not able to fulfill that end of it. Yeah, you know, that's that was more just bad planning than anything else, and I think he took it a bit thick. Probably not as bad as some other people's stories. Be lawful, good paladin in fifth edition, more classical style. Told by locals, there is a war band of goblins that are making them nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Set forth with the party to see what they're on about. First encounter with them, DM describes them as sickly and with sores, like they're infected with something. They're unarmed and gathering things. Ranger, who is a very new player, immediately starts shooting at them. <laughs> Come on, guy. Come on. In character, I try to regain control of the situation and manage to resolve the combat without fighting. Arrange a meeting with the leader with one of the goblins. Elected to go by myself because of disease immunity. Take the ranger to one side and gripe at him in characterly for shooting first and asking questions later. I later learned that this encounter made him quit. They, he wasn't going to ma- make it very far if he, if he quit just because, because somebody said don't shit. Yeah. Think it out first. <laughs> like, that, that, no, that, like he nah. wasn't, uh, no, he wasn't going to make. He wasn't. No, gonna he wasn't going to make it. <laughs> I wouldn't get too upset about that. Also instruct the party to attack the camp if I don't come back in an hour. Go to the camp and meet with the hobgoblin leader. I try to talk and negotiate, possibly even offering magical means to cure the tribe's affections. He stays silent the entire time. Finally get fed up with it and try to leave. Leader orders goblins to surround me. Literally the entire camp is there. Figure there's no way I could fight all of them by myself and surrender, knowing my party won't be too far behind. Group is kind of lost without my leadership, and Dilly Dally's around, and splits the group. Oh, nice. God's sake. Two groups. One assaults the front, and Ranger slash Monk goes to try and find out what happened to me. Ranger is instantly killed in the rescue group. I almost feel bad for him now. Well, no. Turns out the DM used 5th edition tools CR Scaler and overtuned the goblins to absurd degrees. Fuck. Monk somehow survives and keeps catching and dodging arrows. Too late for me though. The DM describes my character's lifeless body in the cage, having been beaten to death off screen. <laughs> what? You don't even get an on screen death. Hey, that's gay. Don't give someone off screen well, especially death. Especially whenever they're there, they're yeah, sitting no, right there. There's no point in giving them off screen deaths. If, no, that's pointless. No roll, no nothing. I physically stand up and leave the group right then and there. <laughs> Later, DM tries to defend himself, saying he didn't expect me to do something that stupid. What like, what, you... what did he do? What, what, he, like, well, okay, he did go off by himself. However, he was trying to play a more diplomatic role. Well, if that but... newbie didn't shit. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a, look, there's a lot of fingers to be pointing. A <laughs> lot of fingers to be pointing, pointing in all different sake. directions there. It, also, it sounds like a bit of a mess, the whole situation. Um, yeah, I, I feel bad for the guy, like, completely going off to your top altogether, but, like, if that was what made him just quit, he he's wasn't going to last. N- no, he's not going to last. He's not going to last, so. As a DM, let me counter with my latest bad players moment. Player's character is clearly evil. Pretends to be a moral objectivist, but fucks over everyone. 
has a moment where he has to be defenseless and is exposed. Had previously been extremely cunty to an NPC who he knew was an assassin. Well, it's not really that bad if he knows that he's an assassin then. Yeah. Well, NPC shows up later to kill him while he is defenseless, while other PC allies it as the character is extremely unpleasant. This player has endlessly messaged me complaining about me metagaming as a DM and the other players being evil cunts and his other group now think I am the bad DM. I hate players. And when you guys read this thread, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, honestly, there's a lot of there's a lot of shit going when it comes to oh, it's the DM's fault. Oh, it's the player's fault. You know, normally it's a mix. It's a mix of, of just everyone. everyone. And it really comes down to like, you know, the party dynamic. How well do you actually get on with these people outside of the game as yeah. well? Yeah. I know? think it's, it's easier to be a dick if in you know game if you know the people. But if you don't know them, if you've just shown up or if you meet them online or whatever and you don't really know them and you start like kind of getting on like a dick in character, people do take it take it like you know more yeah because before. they don't yeah. know that they don't know yeah. yeah at least if you're playing with friends they'd be like oh my god he's fucking at it again can oh, you stop man, it you actually fucking stop that for five minutes you know what i mean no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that. but like, if Garbo, you're stop bringing in all these fucking wifeys with you <laughs> you know what i mean like that type of stuff garbo stop flashing your kilt with you <laughs> <laughs> no, enough of that for five minutes but yeah, no, it's it, like it's all over the place. You never really know. But like, I wouldn't let any of this stuff like deter you from playing D anD D because D anD D is such a good. It, it's a lot of fun. Now yeah. don't get me wrong. You can't have some like oh, then this happened and this happened and you know that you can't get a lot of horrible stuff. But for the most part, people want to have a good game. No one's actually going out of their way to be like. Like, let's try and make this... And it's most... all part of the experience, getting bad players and bad yeah, DMs. Yeah, it, it makes you, it makes it you makes, appreciate yeah. the game yeah. as well. But, like, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, remember, check out the adverts, check out the links down below, all the other good stuff. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!